Hey boss, big news, big news, big news. And that is that Supreme Court yesterday afternoon ruled that the Biden administration uh, cannot force businesses with a hundred or more employees to force their employees to be vaccinated. And this is big news for those of you who own your business and you have a hundred or more employees or you work for a company with a hundred or more employees. So the Biden vaccine mandate has been blocked and the Supreme Court has made its ruling. Um, this is really only for businesses. Healthcare is a whole nother issue, but today I'm going to just talk about the businesses. And I really wanted to share, um, this is, uh, what I want to share is some information from Philip, Ru Philip Russell, who is an OSHA attorney. And um, so he had posted something yesterday and I wanted to share it with you. So um, it was a six to three vote sending um, for the Supreme Court in their ruling uh, to block the Biden vaccine mandate. And I quote, applicants are likely to succeed on the merits of their claim that the secretary lacked authority to impose the mandate. And this is, um, you know, through what Biden was trying to do, forced through OSHA. So rather than being an ordinary exercise of executive power, the Supreme Court finds that that emergency um, order is instead a significant encroachment into the lives and health of a vast number of employees. And Congress did not clearly authorize OSHA to do this. So also, um, and I quote, the act empowers the secretary to set workplace safety standards, but not broad public health measures. So OSHA's COVID-19 vaccination and testing emergency temporary standard, uh, which is 86 Federal Regulation 61402 is stayed, pending disposition of the applicant's petitions for review in the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Court and disposition of the applicant's petitions for writs of, uh, search, 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 mm, I can't even say this word, it's so bad. Um, Certitary, certiorari. If such writs are timely sought, should the petitions for writs of certiorari be denied, this order shall terminate automatically. In the event uh, the petitions for writs of certiorari are granted, the order shall terminate upon sending down the judgment of this court. So the broad approach also indicates that OSHA will not uh, be able to succeed in forcing this uh, vaccine mandate requirements through regular rulemaking against all the employers. So this is some great news. The, uh, this is for any business with a hundred or more employees. So if, uh, this is uh, information for you to take back to your leadership. And if you are the leadership, then this is information that really uh, you need to acknowledge from the Supreme Court and its ruling. So hopefully with that, I'm, I'm excited because the people are, um, it's great news for the employers and for the Republic. And uh, so hopefully this will help you moving, making decisions further when it comes to hiring and also um, ensuring that your employees have a great place to work. And I think this is what's really, really, really important. And I know that a lot of companies, you know, they have been enforcing this and they already have a high percentage of those that are vaccinated. Um, but this also, you know, continues they're also pushing the booster so this is no longer being a forced uh, mandate by um, the government and it's uh, overreach so until next time until i get further information hopefully you have an amazing day and i will talk to you again uh, if you like this video, please like it. Don't forget to share this and make sure that you do share this with other business owners who are still trying to figure out what to do. But bottom line, um, Biden lost. 
the OSHA is no longer being able to mandate vaccines through uh, their employer, through employment, and also uh, go, and I'll put the link in there from the SCOTUS ruling, and you can actually have this as a resource. So until next time, go out and be that boss that your employees actually want to work for. Bye.